Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. I totally appreciate it. This is gonna be some amazing day. And I am just like, I'm over the moon. I don't even know how we met, but uh, my name is Paige Frida Summers. I have the Frida Collection and that is sponsoring this, which is called the Grand Paris Salon for Artists because it's time. We need a place. And we are actually just sort of, um, what we're doing is just the reason why we started is so that we could sort of imitate the salons at the turn of the century because at the turn of the century they were going through a transformation too and just like we are so here we stand so anyway so faith green is going to be an amazing guest i mean look look like just look for a minute so look at this like, who does this? It's, these, these are big. I don't even know if you can see the ginormity of them, but they are big. And this, it's bigger than my head. It's bigger than my head. So anyway, I hope that you just stay till the end. We won't keep you too long. We understand it is a Sunday. But you've got to meet this phenomenal artist. I've never seen an artist that creates like this. And this is so long. Look, it's this long. It goes to my knees. That's how long. In just a moment. But Faith Green is really a great artist and she has captivated going with what she feels. And sometimes she does things from an abstract to this, it's very important for Faith to do what inspires her. And that's why I wanted to have her on because at this time in life, we've got to do, we have to find that thing that inspires us. You know, even if we're not even sure, it is there. If it's cooking muffins, if it's um, throwing muffins out or giving muffins to charity, you know, that is what is so important. That is what is so important right now. Because first of all, we have to, uh, we have to like really take care of ourselves, our inner selves, you know? And it's not, it's not an easy thing. It really is a very big, huge challenge, but you can do it because you were born for this. Each one of you were born for this. So anyway, I'm so sorry. I'm just stalling just a little bit until my artist comes on. She is going to switch over from her laptop onto her phone. But don't you find this pretty incredible? And the thing that I love is that she doesn't mind going outside of a genre that she's used to doing. I think that's pretty amazing. Like this, this is bigger than my head. This is bigger than my head. It's bigger. My head's kind of big. It's big. And she just went ahead and did it. And I just, and these balls are just, they're huge. They're gin ginormous. Who did that? Like, this looks like something from another world. <laughs> it really does. Look at it. It's just like incredible. I love the gold on it. I love it. And for everyone who I have on the show, I have them on to inspire everyone else. And I can't wait. I have so many other amazing guests that I cannot wait to have on. But look at that. It's just like, wow. And you know, right now when we're trying to calm ourselves and trying to understand through the shuffle and understand through the chaos. You know, the one thing for me with painting, it's like I'm praying. So for me, painting is praying and it really helps me so much. So I'm hoping that in some way it will help all of you. That is. Ladies and gentlemen, Faith, she's here. She is in the house. <laughs> There she is. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. You just didn't show me the request join. 
What'd you say? Okay. It didn't show me the re the join or the request. Can you not hear me? I, 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 I'm not you, it's me. It's okay. You may want to turn your camera. Or take your camera. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Oh, look. Oh, 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 okay, bear with me. Okay. Look at that. Oh, my God. Goodness. I, am, I love this. I love this space. I, I love it. It looks fabulous on you. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Like, I'm like, I'm like who did that? Who did that? <laughs> I'm never going to win it. <laughs> I love, I have a soft side and I have a gothic side. So, when I'm feeling dark i go a little dark and heavy and then when i'm feeling light i go a little breezy <laughs> I, I I know. Know. so how like what why did you go from this to the paint do do do, do i have do that i have i have um i do these little glasses these um i do champagne glasses Here's my little champagne glasses. Wow. I have moods. Don't we all have moods? Yes. Uh, you know? And so I have moods of what, whatever I'm feeling for that day, it's like I, I kind of go in that direction where the wind blows me. Yes. But what yes. I do is, I'm going to see your beautiful face. I cannot hear you. Oh. I think I'm stuck. Okay. Yes. So, yes. 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 So okay. what I do is um, I'll do pop art and it's bright and cheery and sparkly and fun. And then when I get a little burnout on it, I go to a more moody, abstract, kind of like renew my energy. Um, I'm kind of one of those people that um, it, it can be a blessing and a curse at one time, a jack of all trade, a master of none. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely one of those things. I can't sit still, and I can't do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what makes you so, so genius. Because you're like, well, I can't bored with that. Let's go with something else. Right? But I envy, I envy people like yourself that do fabulous artwork on a consistent basis that just speaks you and volumes of you every time you touch that canvas. And sometimes I worry about a little, being a little bit all over the place, like, what is she doing? But I can't, I can't do that. I can't do just one thing. It's, uh, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I used to work with the ballet. I used to do costumes and, and props and, and, you know, you name it. I was there for it. So through all my life stages, they've all kind of come together and they've meshed together. Wow. And so I love the props and costumes. Those are uh, two inch wooden balls, and the actual ball itself is alcohol ink and acrylic. Uh, there, It's an abstract version of what I do on canvas. I just decided to put it on the actual wooden balls. Um, I love them for coffee tables, for dining room tables. I think the big, massive, chunky one looks really good on a big, nice dining table. Or just spilling out of a bowl under your coffee table. Um, and then the cross is a clay, and I hand did the, the cross and then gold leafed it and then aged it a little bit with some, some darker finishes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. in awe. I'm just like in awe. <laughs> I love the fact that you, that you pointed that you picked that out of everything. I was like, that's perfect for her. Oh, don't worry. Anything, like I said, a, a scribble on a piece of paper from you would be a blessing. Thank you. Um, I do. I don't have any on hand, but if I, I will special, if something somebody would like some, if they like a, a lighter color, a dark, you know, like different colors that maybe uh, blend well with their um, their home, then I kind of leave it to. I don't do a lot of them and have them laying around because uh, then you might want a light, creamy, nice flowy one, or you that one's dark and, and like more uh, statement piece. 
uh, like a coastal style home may want, you know, more natural look to it. So uh, I try to uh, uh, custom do them so they fit well with the, the home that they're going to. What I did is uh, we just we just moved to Tulsa and uh, it's all new. We've been here for about a year and it's an amazing place to live. The people in Tulsa are the friendliest people I've ever met in my entire life. But before we moved, I had a staging business. So my interior design staging for real estate agents and my artwork all just meshed together. And once again, it's kind of like one thing led to another, another thing matched another. So it all kind of goes together. So that, you know, things like what you have there, my artwork, uh, always, it had my stamp on it. I didn't make it look like something out of a, you know, a store or something. I always tried to make it more uh, of a, a homey feel that when someone went in, they didn't look like, oh, well, they just bought all this stuff at Target and stuck it in the house. <laughs> I have I've worked with designers um, I've like created pieces that would fit well like whatever scape they were going with as far as like colors that I've done those type things I've done uh, design influence where it's like somebody like more of a consulting type thing where what should I put here you know should I do something dark bright big small you know so I've done that but it's kind of a page turner for me since we moved to uh, Tulsa I've been really more focused on uh, my art and I sold my business and sold all my stuff and uh, so when we moved to Tulsa but I still do those things because I think interior uh, you know design and that just goes hand in hand with artists. I mean, we need each other. I, I love you because you are a, a courageous warrior. Yeah. You're oh. like, like, let's sell it. It goes so good to something else. I love that. I love it. Well, you know, I had a friend call me. She was like, you're you're like a bee. And I was like, what are you talking about? She goes, well, she said their workload is so heavy. And you just keep on, keep on being busy and doing your thing. I'm like, well, it's all I know. It's like, it's, I love it. I, I'm most energized when I've got a goal to reach. Yes. Yes. I feel the same. I love having a goal. Isn't it the best? Yes. And that's why quarantine has been so horrible. Yes, there's I agree. not I agree. a lot of goals during quarantine. <laughs> I know, I agree. I know, exactly. So, all right, so you are so fascinating. So, so people come to me, they can find, they can ask you to do something for their home, interior-wise, and it doesn't have to do with a painting or something or a costume. I mean. It, it has been a little while since I've worked on costumes. It's been it's been a minute since I've done those things. My daughter was a dancer, and I spent a lot of time backstage. And uh, through that, I helped with building costumes and props and stuff. But uh, as far as uh, the uh, what I'm doing now, it would be art, design, and photography. Uh, by the way, Donna Simone, you have to meet her, and she does staging, so oh. you have to make sure that you meet her, she's just coming on your work, she loves your work, she loves what you do, she says, I'm a stager, so Donna Simone, she knows, she's amazing. She knows that it's more work than what people think it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I said she also knows that it's more peop more work than what people think. A lot of people like to say, "Oh, I thought about staging," and I was like, "Oh, well, get ready because it's a uh, <laughs> it's hard work." <laughs> I used to, okay, so tell us about that. So say if I needed to stage a house in the mall that I was about to move from, and I wanted to start to. So I when. When I owned my staging business, uh, I had a 20 by 30 storage unit. I had a garage. I had my house. I had, my husband even said at one point, hey, you know, I live here too because uh, this stuff is just kind of everywhere. But um, I would go in and do a consultation with, uh, with the seller 
and say, you know, delicately say, you know, you need to take the deer head off the wall or, you know, just little little things that the, the average person walking through the house may or may not want to see. And then from there, we would rearrange and or we would put furniture in that uh, best suited the house, uh, whether it was a small house, we needed a small couch or a big, ha big room with a big couch. So it was a it was a delicate balance of making it look like you wanted to live there or uh, give it the benefit, the, the seller the benefit of getting a buyer soon. You know, a lot of people don't get a buyer because their closets are full or they're, you know, just a lot of stuff. Wow. Wow. And so what happens if, like, like, does that usually be the first time phase? You know, like, if you say you have to be like, blah, blah, blah. and then they're like, oh, no. Like, does that, does, do you have to do this like, two or three times as far as pull the sofa or pull the assessment and reload it with everything? I had, I was very, very fortunate. I worked with a, a, a one of the top agents in North North Louisiana. She was she's a beast when it comes to real estate, and um, fortunately, she trusted me completely. And I never had her come back and say, "Could you get that out of there?" <laughs> so, <laughs> fortunately, we were we worked really well together. And I guess I always did a good job for her because she never said that. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Oh my God. So, what is the biggest thing that you absolutely What can you not live without doing? Like, what, what anything specific that you can't live without? I guess I would say at this point right now, uh, my artwork is definitely top on the list. Uh, yeah. I. I have found a, a very peaceful place with it and I'm coming into myself. I had a career that sucked all creative juices out of me for so long and then now that I'm able to do that, um, my husband even told me the other day, he said, you know, he goes, I've seen your work evolve. It's starting to like take on this whole new shape compared to what it was when you started it. And then I do love my photography. I like to do creative type photography and not family and that type of stuff. I like to create the image. And uh, if you go on my page, the, there's a rabbit in an empty garage and she has a, a 50s purse and a coat and vintage heels and that. That is my favorite. I love that. I love that. I, and that came straight out of my head. I thought people were going to think I'm crazy, but I love it. But those are the types of images that I like to create. But um, to keep up with that, it's tough. Photography is tough. It's expensive. And um, and you got to get out there on hot days and cold days. And I'm, I have a, a team of people that I, I used to play with. Uh, Parker Turner was one of my friends from Shreveport. And he and I and another guy, we just, we got, when we got our brains together, we cooked up some really good stuff. But I'm in Tulsa now, so I'm not able to do that as often. That's right. Do you love it here? I do. I really do. It's a it's a very warm and welcoming city, and um, it's the art community here is very very open. I mean, I've done so many things. I just did a showcase at uh, Living Arts in Tulsa. I met no one here. Uh, I submitted and they accepted me, and I submitted seven pieces. And of the seven pieces, I only brought one back, so I picked it up today. So uh, that was awesome, and so it's it's nice to be welcomed into a city that you really don't know anybody. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I think that's so great. And I also think that it's so nice for you to have that transition on a slower basis. Because our souls as artists, we kind of need a little uh, peace, you know, with creation, with making money. Right. You know, not so much to kind of like chill. Yes. I finally, uh, at first, I, especially with my photography, I, I was thinking, okay, this is going to make money. I'm going to do this for money. And then I realized that my my take on photography wasn't necessarily what would be selling to the masses. It was more art form than it was, you know, a daily and weekly appointment schedules type thing. And then I moved into the art and I just had a, a kid that was um, in a group that I follow 
and um, he was a little down on himself, I think, and he was kind of thinking that he might would make some money doing this art. And I said, you need to stop right there and realize that art is about you, it's for you, and it comes from you. So don't take it personally, it's for you. And if somebody wow. else loves it and wants it, that's just an, a compliment to you. And, and it's an honor for them to want, you, want it in your, their home. So like, take that pressure off, you know, don't do that for anybody else, do it for you. That's lovely. That's really, 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 that's deep down truth. It really is. Oh yeah, because like when I made that necklace, I just sat down and just got lost in it. You know, I just got lost in it. And I wasn't thinking about anybody or anything in particular. I just was enjoying the creation of it. Well, it looks like it. And it looks like it. <laughs> this feels so, like it's like so much love. So much love. I love it. I cannot tell you. All right, so, and lastly, I have, um, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm going to talk to you about, but okay. okay oh, your photography. I'm a chatty. I love your photography. If someone wanted a creative shop, is that something that you would offer? Oh, I'm definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So they can contact me. What do you like them to tell you so that you're inspired by? Um, as far as like when I get a commission or request? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. like photography job or painting. Do you want people to tell you the whole thing or do you want people to tell you to do? what do you need? Them? Well, as far as art goes, I am really, really um you know, I'm very, um, I'm a Virgo and I'm a perfectionist. So therefore I want it to be perfect when you get it. <laughs> and I'm so disappointed if it's not. So I always get a lot of information when it comes to an art piece, because like I've seen too many people request and then just say, just use your creativeness to whatever. And then it's nothing like they thought they were getting. So I have had friends that have had that happen to them. I've had that happen to me. Uh, I mean, I've had people say they wanted to commission something. And then when I, they said, you just do. And then they're like, that's not what I wanted. Well, that <laughs> that's difficult. That's a difficult thing. So when I do a commission painting wise, I really am. I like you. I think you and I talked. I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. I want to be able to understand you. Therefore, I can put on canvas more about what I think you, who you are, or what you want. Exactly. Because I think there's a spiritual thing or a connection when you talk to someone about what they want. Because you're to their heart rather than just receiving a text. You know? I, you know, we're we're in a day of people are and i'm guilty of it too i you know i don't pick up my phone just because it rings or i'll send a text message or whatever i think yeah. the connection yeah. between people uh, is very slowly slip or quickly slipping away and through art it can't you just can't i mean it has to be there your art your art is the the utmost poster for that because when you see your paintings they they exude whoever you are painting like if you don't know that person you can't do that i mean like i even know those people when i look at it because you know them <laughs> wow. wow thank you thank you uh thank you Thank you so much. I do appreciate you. I had to get yes. I love that piece in front of you. The, one with the, the vintage swimming girl? Yes, I call her the, the vintage swimming girl. She's got her vintage swimming hat and she's got her vintage swimsuit on. Um, I just, I love her. Uh, she, you know, do you ever do that? Do you say, oh, I love her. I love that. And then it's like, you know, it's, when they when like again when they are you it's like you just have a connection with it but she is one of my favorites <laughs> She's oh, no. pretty cool. what's the size on that that is a three foot by four foot canvas 
Nice. And that's, I like that size. Um, I don't just, if someone commissions a piece from me and they want a larger piece, then that's when I break out the big guns and do bigger pieces. It's just really hard to do big, big pieces and have them laying around. Uh, but I do adore large, I do adore large paintings. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I kind of get a little intimidated by a small canvas. <laughs> I mean, this quarantine, the showcase that I just did, the artwork that was submitted to it was artwork that was done during quarantine. So um, I, I have to say, I went the first almost two months that I just like shut down and just sat on my couch and I was just staring at the TV and kind of in shock. My son asked me, he goes, mom, have you ever experienced anything like this in your lifetime? And I was like, no, I was like, you know, we were too young to remember the gas crisis and the electric crisis, the energy crisis, but no. And I said this, and I just sat there kind of like stunned. And then I think the process of quarantine has almost been like a death or a divorce. They say a divorce, you go through all the stages that you go through as a, in a, in a death, like you were kind of stunned and then you were like mad and then angry and then sad. And then, you know, so finally I got to the point where like, you gotta get up, <laughs> you gotta do something. So I started painting the paintings that I did submit to the quarantine, but I don't know about you, but uh, I know a lot of artists said that, that quarantine was not helpful to their creativity levels. They were having, they were struggling. But once I got started, Oh man, I felt so much better. I just, I felt so much better that I was focusing that energy on something colorful and positive and not negative off the TV or, you know, I finally decided to turn it off. Yes, yes. that's how I felt the whole time. I was like, Ooh. like I, quarantine for me, it's weird. It's like a, a snow day. I'm from Chicago. Yeah. It's like a snow day. And I, but a continuous four months snow day. And I was like, what can I do? What can I do? So I, I really, uh, I really loved it. I know I shouldn't be saying that. I think some people are like, well, other people are not. And I don't love that part. That part yeah. is very trouble. But the part where I in my studio is really great. What would you, what is the biggest thing, what would you say that can really inspire artists and your buyers right now? Like, what is the thing that you want them to know more than you? About my work? Yes, yeah. about your work, yes. That it's very personal, and it's uh, it's from uh, a, a part of me that uh, I didn't get to have for a, a while. You know, we're moms, we're career, we're this, we're that. And then once you finally uh, go through stages of life, you know, your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, and now that I'm entering in my 50s, I'm able to do what I was supposed to do. <laughs> it's like I've put it on hold for so long. So, like... Uh, that if you see a piece that inspires you or you are, you know, you think, gosh, I really like that. I mean, I've had people just stop in their tracks and say, I got to have that. You know, I, I've, I've had that. That means more to me. That is the hugest compliment. I mean, like, that's like, you're taking home me. You're taking home a part of my creative process and who I am. So that's what inspires me to do more and, and it's kind of like i don't know it's just the the best compliment it's like somebody walking down the street and go hey i love what you have on well it's 10 times that it's it's more than that because you want something in your house that i did and i mean your house is your home your your place it's you know your family people see it so uh, i feel like if you want it there then it means that much to me I love that. I love that. And what would you say to artists right now during the pandemic? Yeah, how can they trust 
their forward to fill a career to carve out a career for themselves during this time? Um, it's that's tough. It really is tough. All I can say is just like what I told the young guy the other day is just don't don't give up and don't let the world be your stoplight. I mean, you have to. I, I've learned. Uh, you know, art is not just about painting. It's about marketing. It's about who, you know, who you are to the face. Like today, I was a little bit, oh, I don't like to be out there, you know, and she's asked me to go out and talk to all these people. Like I'm kind of a, a back set, you know, I'm in the back of the crowd kind of person, but you can't, you can't be that way. You have to be out there. You have to put yourself out there. I know, I know. And you're so funny because you're very out there. Really. <laughs> I'm an introvert extrovert. Like, you know, but anyway. Oh my goodness. Well, so everyone has a question. They can find on your Facebook page. You have a business page as well, right? I have a business page, uh, Art by Faith Green. I have an Instagram page, uh, Green or G Faith. I, I forgot what it is. G Faith. Uh, uh, Instagram. Yeah, I Instagram. Sorry, I forgot. It's like all of a sudden I forgot. And then uh, my Facebook page is Art by Faith Green. Um, and my email is uh, Wyatt and Willis at gmail.com. Uh, you are more than welcome to message me on Facebook and then I can lead you to my Instagram page, but it's Faith Green. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit just like with everything else, my, my, um, my Facebook and my Instagram page, it could do a little uh, uh, sweep, sweeping around the front porch. But if there's anything there that triggers you, don't hesitate to just message me and say, I like this, but we could you do it this way or that way. That's awesome. That's awesome. Faith, I could talk for hours. I know. Trying to be sensitive to people in their tongues. I could just like sit here and cross my legs. We could go all the way through the coffee. Yeah. We'll have to do this and have champagne. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot. Look. Ah! Next time I'll. Oh my gosh, there's your champagne glass, right? Yes. Next time I'll mail you a champagne glass, and we can open a bottle of champagne together, and then we can drink it together. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, you have ever seen my life. I'm really. I hang on, knowing I'm so grateful for knowing you. I am. It's just great. I, I, you're just like, poof, out of the air. Poof. I'm like, what's that? Well, I'll tell you, I found you, Jay Covington had that painting in his house and his house got uh, pay, uh, photographs for a magazine and the, the room was beautiful. The, the room was absolutely gorgeous, but I was like, where's that piece of artwork from? I want to know her. <laughs> so that's oh why. Now, did you have artwork with him? Because, I mean, he loves you. No, but we know each other. We, we, uh, I think we're like uh, separated at birth. Our, our, com our sense of humor <laughs> and our our like our like wit is I think a lot alike so uh yeah but we 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 just are from the same town I love it. I love it. And lastly, I met Jay because I had my birthday in Santa Rosa Beach. Uh, I love. I, I feel like I was born at the beach, but even though I'm not there. But, but that's how he purchased one of my pieces from the gallery. But anyway, Faith, I, is there anything else that you want me to say? Or to All I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. You've had some amazing artists, amazing authors. Uh, I just am. I'm honored to be part of such a, an amazing community and exposed to some amazing people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Faith. Oh, my God. Thank you, Faith. I don't even thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. glasses these yes yeah. yes i just put some on like uh i have these that are mimosa flowers 
I guess in my grandmother's yard and she had a mimosa tree. So I painted these little mimosa flowers on these wine glasses. So they just went on my Facebook page and uh, I'm about to do some updating and putting some new stuff up. So. Okay, I love it. 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 All right, all right, so I have to go. I don't want to go, but ladies no. and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And I'll, I'll try to have this video up. Uh, probably it'll go up when we finish. But anyway, thank you so much. You've been amazing. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Faith Green. And she is a specialist. She is an artist that you no. All right. All right. Well, take care and have a beautiful, a beautiful weekend. Thank you, and I better get out of here before my yard man comes to mow my grass. <laughs> I had to run him off. I was like, not right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's nice. Yes, it is. I know. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye bye.